Good evening, everyone. My name is Paul Young. I'm going to walk you through Alberta competitiveness. My presentation is only one perspective. There's lots of sites out there that you can do search to look at input costs to get an understanding of what that impacts at various provinces to kind of get a more of an overview of what the, the pressure of province is facing. Now, a little bit of bio about myself. I'm CPA, CGA by trade. I have a background in academia, industry, as well as financial solutions. So I'm going to tell you in a nutshell what competitiveness means. On a business perspective, it means my ability to compete both domestically and globally. So I produce a goods, I can make money from producing that goods, and that's what it's about in terms of basically as a business perspective. So when you hear competitiveness, you're really referring to a business. Now, what goes into a business quickly are input costs, raw materials, labor, power, and other overhead. There's other costs associated with this, and this is where government comes in. Taxation, that's payroll, consumption, property, corporate, carbon tax, uh, any sort of excise taxes, that's your taxation. There's building permits, so if I'm building a new warehouse, a factory, or going into a refinery, or building a new oil production facility, they are all required per permits. Regulations. I have to follow environmental rules in terms of how I handle affluent, the wastewater treatment. How do I handle emissions? That's all part of the rules. Transportation. How do I get my goods to market in terms of infrastructure, roads, rails, pipelines? That's all part of basically government's role in terms of looking at things in terms of the cost to support. Now, if I talk about Alberta, we got to talk about key components key components and what we have to talk about is a statement the Ministry of the Environment basically has come out and basically said energy I should say has come out and said that Alberta is still a good province to do business in the problem with her statement is she's looking at too narrow yes business taxes are very reasonable in Alberta but it's not just about business taxes it's about the whole gamut and what Alberta is, is if you look at their labor rates, are some of the highest for manufacturing in all of Canada. Same with the resource sector. Industrial hydro rates are the fourth highest in Canada. Alberta's corporate taxation rate is 12%. It's middle of the road compared to other jurisdictions, but when you're looking at key areas like Ontario and British Columbia, they've actually worsened in terms of their corporate tax rates. Red tape, this is the ability for companies to work. In other words, all their time is spent doing government paperwork. Alberta got a D rating in 2015. So what does red tape mean? It means the cost to business. So the longer, more business time they spend filling out government paperwork, less time they could spend growing their business. That's the key driver there. The other thing too is the misunderstanding floors me when you hear government speak. The supply chain management starts by the time you go into that ground and extract that item or grow that item to the all the way to the end result to the consumer all through that channel there is movement of that goods if that goods touches any shape or form carbon that cost is passed along all the way to the end to the consumer so if you're looking at input costs going up 30 40 percent or you're looking at other sort of cost on the fuel cost that gets passed along to the consumer. It's not unheard of to see consumer prices to go up the five to eight percent at the end of the day when they go to a gas station, grocery store, variety store to buy that goods. And even your housing, because lumber has to be transported. So these are key quotes that are misunderstood. And the reason why I want to do that is it's very easy to say Alberta has a business tax burden low, but you have to look at all aspects of business. Government tends to just look very narrow our corporate tax. That's only one piece of the puzzle. It's not one policy that tracks business investment. So when you hear statements like this, you should be a little leery when people make this statement because it isn't one factor. And the reason why Alberta is struggling right now, yes, with low oil prices, but the government itself doesn't seem to grasp the gravity of the situation here. When a province is going through a recession, you do not introduce new tax policy. What you do is you cut tax policy. You cut the size of government. You put focus on things that will drive the economy. In Alberta's case, they've hiked corporate taxes. Okay, They've looked at the minimum wage to hike it. They basically looked at carbon tax to, to hike the cost there. They're doing everything in its own right 
to make this recession last longer because foreign direct investments looking at these policies and saying you know what not good so the next time somebody makes you a quote the best thing to do is ask them at the end of the day what's it gonna cost me and how is this gonna attract business to the province and that's the key driver thank you